YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And this is actually an episode of NFL questions from subscribers. But for this episode, we're going to do it a little bit differently. Now, of course, what you know as questions from subscribers is a series where you can ask me any NFL question you want to based off of any NFL team. And we answer it in a video just like this. Or if we do a question from subscribers live stream, which we have a lot of fun in, we answer in a video just like that. Uh, but in today's episode, uh, we're going to be focusing on one in particular question that uh, a lot of people have been thinking about. Uh, and of course, when we talk about the wide receiver position, we can go on and on for days about it. Um, but this is something that we haven't really spoken of too much on here recently, uh, even with all the new additions. So the question, it came from my guy Terrell B. Uh, before we get into this, I got to give a huge shout out to Terrell B. Shout out to him, both him and his dad. Uh, and the reason why I want to give them a shout out is because they have been supporting for years. Um, they've been rocking with us for years. Um, and, and trust me, I, I do notice it. They don't comment in the comment section too often, but over time, they've been sending emails for questions from subscribers. Uh, and one of the things with them is that it's been hard because it's been like, man, they will send these really good questions but they will send them to the wrong email. And I'll be like, man, it's, it's just so good. And sometimes I would even let it slide. But it took me a while and I had to muster up some courage and be like, oh, I, I, I got to stick to my guns. You got to send it to the right email. So they did that because I know he's sent questions. His dad has sent questions. And um, something that's uh, really, really, that I really appreciate about that is that they say they watch the videos together and it just... It seems as if from the messages that they have a really good relationship. And I think that is extremely, extremely important that somebody's dad is there for them. Because in today, this day and age, and I know everybody's situation is different, um, but I think it's extremely important. And, and it's a, a beautiful thing that a father and son uh, have a relationship. So, Bacons, I, I, I love y'all. I, I really appreciate y'all. And I appreciate you all's relationship, too. So all right, let's get into this question. So he said, what's going on in Graven? Hope all is well as usual with you and the fam. Everything is really good. Everything is really, really, really good. So I appreciate it. He said, I have a question. Do you think that they, the Ravens, want to see what they can develop since that's what everyone says they can't do? And A, that has been a very, very uh, big topic in, when it comes to the Ravens community, uh, when it comes to the wide receiver position. It's been the, the lack of development, the lack of development. And I've explained a lot of times why I feel there has been such a lack of development when it comes to the Ravens. And it's a gift and a curse all at the same time. One of the biggest reasons that I believe that the Ravens have such a lack of development when it comes to the wide receiver position is because the Ravens are continuously. The Ravens are always the Ravens are annually in win now mode. And since they're in win now mode, they don't want to sit back and be like, oh, you know what? Let's let's develop these wide receivers. Let's see what these young boys got. No, they're looking for guys that are ready right here and right now to compete. Right now, right here to compete for a Super Bowl. That's what they're looking for. So they don't want to go through the entire process of, oh, yeah, let's develop our own guys. They, they have those guys, but a lot of the guys that they draft are just usually depth guys. They may be special teamers. They may get in every now and then, but since the Ravens are in win now mode, they look for the right here, right now at wide receiver. Anyway, continuing the question, he said, uh, and could they possibly use the draft to pick another first round, uh, another first rounder with these new wide receiver coaches and believe free agency is not the answer? So what he's saying with that is could they use the draft, their first round pick and of course the, the picks that follow to not even focus on wide receiver? Could they use their first round pick and go in another direction and not really even worry about wide receiver in the draft? Because they got their own guys. And like he said, they brought these new wide receiver coaches and they believe that free agency just simply isn't the answer. Well, that's a big possibility. It, it, it really is. Because you have, again, Hollywood. You got Sammy Watkins now. So you got a guy who, who got some experience. But now with Sammy Watkins, again, like we stated, Sammy Watkins doesn't have the best history when it comes to health. So I just, I know that the Ravens know this. You, if, if we know it, then the Ravens got to know it, that they cannot just rely on Sammy Watkins and be like, OK, hey, hey, that's it. We're done. Or if they do look at him like that, like, OK, we're done at wide receiver. Then this could lead to what his question is about them actually trying to develop their own. 
They brought in T. Martin. They brought in Keith Williams. And these guys, they've worked with a Sammy Watkins before, Tyreek Hill, uh, Devontae Adams, and there's more too. Those are the only guys I can think of off the top of my head. But it could show that, and again, Eric DaCosta over the past couple of years, we've, we've seen it. They have went pretty young at the wide receiver position. I mean, a couple of years ago, they signed Seth Roberts, and that was it. They ain't get nothing. They ain't go out and get anybody crazy, anything like that. They got Seth Roberts. Then they uh, th then there was Willie Sneed too. He was there. He was young. And they kept Willie Sneed. Seth Roberts left. Then last year they had a Dez Bryant. They got him in the middle of the season. He didn't really do anything for the Ravens. I think well, he didn't do any, any much on the field, but he uh certainly off the field. He helped boost the other receivers around him. But it, it could be, this could happen. And I think really to answer your question on what the Ravens will do, the rest of free agency, but more so the draft, will really answer that question. How the Ravens draft, how they move in the draft, which is less than a month away, that'll really answer the question of what the Ravens intend on doing at the wide receiver position. Because, yeah, they've added Sammy Watkins, and you still got the young boys too. You got Deion Kane, you got Benjamin Victor as well. And then, of course, Hollywood, Boykin, DuVernay, Prochet. You got all those guys. So you, you, got, you got a lot of depth. But what are you going to do with that depth? Is it going to remain depth or are the uh, guys going to get a legitimate shot? Or are you still going to continue to venture and look around for adding additional wide receiver help? The draft will answer that question. And I think, really, I don't even think you'll have to wait for the entire draft. You just watch, watch just the first three rounds. The first three rounds will definitely answer your question. And y'all know how I feel about the Ravens when it comes to them drafting a receiver. I do not think if, if the receiver is drafted after the first round and maybe after the, even the, the second round or after, then, yeah, it, it may not be much emphasis put into that wide receiver. He may have a shot, but he won't really have a shot. So it, we just got to see how these Ravens move. Uh, but continuing... He said maybe even they, they might even take a stab at free, ad, free agency to challenge what we have to prove themselves. You know, to put a chip on their shoulders. I like that part. He said, thanks as always uh, for the content. You're my most watched YouTube football broadcaster. And just like Sammy Watkins possibly said, I'm out. LOL. Appreciate it, Terrell. Um, so, yeah, I, I could see that. I could see that. Because this would really, like, really... Force the Ravens. And I know you still got Sammy Watkins. But if they didn't draft a receiver early, if they didn't really dibble and dabble anymore in free agency, that would force the Ravens to really use their own guys and really take a different turn as far as the development of their own wide receivers. And they got some guys that you know, the, you know these guys, they may try to stay away from it, but you know they hear all of it. You know they do. Hollywood. Going into his third year, oh, you're not a number one guy. You're not that guy. We need somebody. Oh, you know they hear it. Duvernay, Prochet going into their second year. Oh, no, Ravens need more. Those, those, they just guys, man. They just slot guys. Ravens need more than that. They hear it. Miles Boykin. Everything that gets said about him, you know he hears it. They hear it. And whether they hear it directly through the media, they hear it through fans and the comments, they, they hear it from whatever. Analysts, whatever it might be, they hear it. So I know you talked about how the Ravens may want to put a chip on their own wide receiver's shoulders. But I think the chip is already there. It's there already. Because and, and you, you got to feel like, man, these Ravens, the wide receivers, they probably don't even want the Ravens to sign anybody else. They, they don't want it. Because they know, especially depending on who it is, that would take away and eat away from their opportunity. And these dudes want to prove themselves. Who wouldn't? But if you're, you're an NFL player, like you, listen, you done already made it, man. You, like, you're one out of millions, man. You're one out of millions. It's so many people that play football from Little League, and they, they keep on going up, going up. They play it in middle school. They play it in high school. They go from JV to varsity. Then they go to college. And some people even are standouts in college. Studs. But they don't make it to the NFL. They don't make it. 
But these guys, they made it to the NFL. So you think like these guys want to be like, oh, you know what? We made it to the NFL already. Oh, we, yeah, we're good just being depth guys since we're here. No, especially at wide receiver. Like what's a wide receiver's job? Catch the football. If they see Ravens as somebody else, they're going to be, nah, we don't want that. We want to catch the football. We want opportunities to catch the football. And if the Ravens add somebody else, that's going to take away from their opportunity to catch the football. So you know these guys already got a chip on their shoulder. You know these guys want to go out there and really prove who they are, what they can do, their reliability, all of that stuff. They want to show that to the world. So the chip is it's got to be there already. If it wasn't there, that would be a problem. That would be a problem. And these guys don't have to come out and publicly say, oh, I got a chip on my shoulder. No, you ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do none of that. Let your work speak for itself. And in practice and training camp and all of that, that's when the, that fire's got to be lit. Lit. It has to be. Ain't no other way, man. So I hope these Ravens receive, whatever the Ravens do at wide receiver, whether they add more or they don't, you know these boys, they got to be ready. And another thing that goes in their favor, especially for Duvernay and Prochet, but even Boykin and Hollywood and all of them, is the offseason. Offseason last year wasn't much of anything. Now, not necessarily that that is an excuse, because you see plenty of receivers still produced, even in new offenses. But I mean, Duvernay and Prochet, this offense was new for them because they came from college. But this year, it should be better. So it's up to everybody to play their part. We've been saying that all offseason. Lamar got to do better. The offensive line got to do better. Greg Roman got to do better. The receivers got to do better. Everybody has to do better. But I think the Ravens know that. And they wanted to, the reason why they kept Greg Roman is because they wanted to capitalize on what they do well. But they also wanted to improve on what they don't. So they kept Greg Roman. But then they added these wide receiver coaches who came from the college ranks. But... They have NFL experience. And I don't know if y'all remember, we used to talk about that all the time, that that's what the Ravens need to bring in. College guys. Some college guys. And some guys that can relate to the, the players that we have. And that's exactly what they did. And I love it. Appreciate you, Terrell. Shout out to you and your dad. Much love to y'all. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out, man.